Hey guys, Eric McGray here again with Avant Manufacturing, back in front of the VF2SS, uh, talking again. Uh, if you haven't seen the little Instagram video from yesterday about my uh, changing parameter 23, uh, basically parameter 23 on the Haas machine, it changes uh, the, the type of movement in your G0 Rapids from a dog leg path to just a linear path. Um, so this is kind of expanding on that and basically uh, Scott Moyes, Moisey, however you pronounce it, you guys know him, we're having a little debate on whether changing that parameter affects uh, cycle time and I don't think it does. I think it's going to be the same cycle time regardless of which you know style you choose and um, Scott thinks that it's going to take longer so yeah, let's uh, do a little test and find out whose assumptions are correct. So this here is the program that I'm going to be running um, to do the test. Uh, you can see that right now the machine is at x negative 20, y negative 10 millimeters, and it's just going to move to negative uh, x negative 750 and y negative 400, and just shuffle back and forth between those. Um, and then you can see over here currently uh, parameter 23 is set to the factory default zero which is probably what a good amount of people are running and so when I run this program you look at the motion uh, you know if your setting 23 is or parameter 23 is set to zero the path will look like you would expect um, so after we run that we'll check out the cycle time and we're going to change that parameter and then we're going to rerun the program compare the new cycle time and that's how we're going to do this. So right about now, let's start the program. Oh, memory mode. Start the program. So that is the dog leg pack. So clearly that was the dog leg path and our cycle time was 25 seconds. Okay. So what we're going to do now is change that parameter and I'm going to show you guys step by step exactly how to do it in case you want to do it on your machine. Uh, first you need to go into your settings and find setting 7 which is the parameter lock. Normally it's set to on. Um, you got to want to go ahead and change that to off and that way you will be able to uh, adjust the parameters. So then go to your parameter page and the easiest way to get to it is just to type in 23 and then press the down button and then it will take you right to it. So right now as you can see it's at the zero. You saw the dog leg path and that's why it was doing that. So I'm just going to, well first actually because the servo's on, if you try and do it right now, let's see, if you try and change it to one um, and hit enter it gives you uh, a servo is on air. So easiest way to get rid of that is just to hit the emergency stop. It turns off all the motors. Um, so while your emergency stop is pressed, you can hit one and enter and you can see it changed there. Once you've got it changed, um, you can take your emergency stop off and just reset your machine. Um, you will want to go back and turn your parameter lock on just so you don't mess anything else up. <laughs> and so, uh, so yeah, now let's run the program again. Go back to memory and cycle like start. Look at that motion. That's it. You can kind of see that um, both options led to 25 second cycle time. Scott, you're wrong. You owe me a beer. I'll see you in Vegas. Peace out. <laughs>